I'm the dude. So that's what you call me, you know? Uh, that or uh, his dudeness or uh, duder or, uh, you know, El Duderino. Welcome back to another video on Soft Car Dude. Today we're going to have a look at the Pioneer Camaro and refit it, uh, which means we're going to take the traction magnet out and put some weight in it. And we're going to chew the tires. Uh, and at the very end of this video, we're going to track test the whole setup and see how it goes. So the body is attached with uh, four screws to the chassis, the two front ones here and two in the rear. Going to unscrew them a little faster than usual. Um, and I'm going to use a little tablet that I also use uh, where I put my screws. That's a little magnetized tablet. Just put the screws there and you're never going to lose them or miss out on them. So that's what the chassis looks like from the inside with the motor setup, the gear, the traction magnet and the cables which are set up for the chip already, for the digital chip. But we're going to stay analog. Uh, and the first thing, <clears throat> excuse me, what we're going to do is we're going to remove the magnet and check out, let's check out how we can remove that. It's quite easy. You just press from underneath here and it just clicks out. Very easy to do. There it goes. That's the traction magnet that came with the car from the factory. So I'm going to check out and see where we're going to put the extra weight. Now we're going to leave the digital compartment alone. Usually I would have redone the cables, but I just left everything as standard as I could. And I tried to check out where we can put some weight. So what we're going to do is check out our lead. I've got a plate of lead here. It's about two millimeters thick. Yeah, the autofocus didn't work out the way I wanted it to. So two millimeters thick, we're going to use the magnet to set up the size and <clears throat> going to cut it like this. So usually I glue my lead, my extra weight onto the chassis with this glue. It's a standard glue that just does the job to keep it in place and I can remove it, the leads, lead parts very easily uh, without causing any harm to the chassis and actually rub off the rest of the glue. So those are the two stripes of lead. I added two more stripes to the left and right as you can see here, um, to go to the front axle. I also glued in the rear bearings with the same type of glue, added two small stripes of lead here to go with the whole setup. Exactly the two big ones. And I also trued the tires. It didn't come out very well here, but they're trued and all set up to go on track. So what we're going to do now is put everything together again, meaning the body onto the chassis <clears throat> and then see how everything works out. Gonna screw it a little, a little faster than usual uh, to the chassis again. Yes, it's four screws. Um, I noticed that it fits very well, but also very tight, which means there's not going to be much of a body wobble, body movement that we can actually work on. So this is what it looks like when it's screwed together again. No difference. Again, very nice livery, very nice setup. So let's hit the track. Well, we're still under a caution. I want you to go back out on that track and hit the pace car. Hit the pace car? Hit the pace car! What for? Because you hit every other goddamn thing out there, I want you to be perfect. Go on, go, go, go!
And here we are at the club track already with starting off with this first slow motion that I did with a new camera. So that's the reason why it's flickering a little bit. Let's check out again this beautiful, beautiful livery. Um, it is just really nicely and very well done. Another slow motion and again, no magnet, 12 volts, tires trued, weight added. And as you can see in the slow-mo, it does behave very, very well and constant. Not much sliding. I had a very good test driver to help me on with this video. And as you can see, really, really nice traction. Um, of course, as usual, one or two full laps on our test track. It deslotted, and what I already said and thought before is, as there's not a much of a body movement possible, or a wobble possible, the tight corners, you need to really let the car roll in and don't accelerate too early because it will deslot right away, which it did one or two times, but again, hey, this is the factory setup and I didn't change anything on this chassis. I didn't grind it or make it smaller so that the wobble will improve. No, it didn't. And it really behaved very well. I have to admit, I didn't expect it to be that well, um, but it turned out really, really good. Um, it was a lot of fun to test. It still is a beautiful car. The only fragile thing is the left side mirror, which I accidentally lost, I have to admit. But nice car. So enjoy with me this beauty. How about that? A sound we don't have to fix. I don't want you spoiled, but. Car family, this was it. This was the track test of the Pioneer Camaro without magnets. Weights added, tires trued. I would like to do another test with that chassis because it's very forgiving, very nice to work on, where I actually make the body float uh, much better than it is actually right now out of the box. Um, if you like what you've seen, don't forget to press that like button. Leave comments. Yes, please. Share. And of course, press that cowbell, don't forget. And there is more to come. Stick around.